everyone, this is Tammy at Snowstorm Crafts, and if you're new here, welcome, and if you've been here before, welcome back. So today is going to be episode four, or of the series that I'm doing right now, of my um, red collage series, and if you haven't seen the other episodes, I will post the playlist at the end screen, so you guys can see it at the end of the video on the end screen, and I just wanted to walk you guys through a little bit of what I will be doing and I'll be doing it in a time lapse and I'll pop in in between and then at the end and stuff for you guys to just talk about some things but what I will be using and it always changes because I never know I'm grabbing things as I'm going along but um the gesso and some of the stuff will be in my Amazon links down below if you want to come check them out so I got the white gesso I'll be using my six by six stencils here just some background stencils which are great. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be throwing in the crackle paste. I might do that. And then I also have the distress texture paste, but this actually works just as good as the spackling here. The spackling works great and it's way more inexpensive. And I love using it with stencils and doing all that with it and stuff. So those are great. And I have my AC on in the background because it's almost 98 today here in Oregon. So it's going to be hot. So I got the AC going. So you might hear that. Um, I also got the Vintage Photo Distressed Oxide I might be using throughout. And scraps. I got a bunch of scraps here that I'm going to glue down first. And I'm going to be using my, um, it's just Elmer's glue and water. So it's just a mixture here. And I got a big paintbrush and then a just a little trowel that I'll be using. Probably some ink oxide. I'll throw some of that in there. Some Rit dye, which I've talked about before. And it's just like a fabric dye. And this one has wine color and black in it and some in water. So I dilute it because this is a concentrate liquid. And this stuff works great on fabrics, on papers, on all kinds of medium. I mean, it's a great medium to use for sure. So that is awesome. And probably throw in some red, some bright red, just apple barrel. And then I got these acrylics um, and some brown maybe. And this is my watercolor paper. Uh, I'll so go this grab is it. the watercolor paper. It is 9 by 12, 40 pound, 300 GSM. And I just got this at uh, Walmart. I just grabbed a thing of it at Walmart and it works great. So I tape that down so it won't move around on me. And I'm going to just do this in time lapse, like I said, and start gluing down some scraps and going from there. So I just wanted to pop on really quick to show you guys what I have done so far. So I went through and put down some of the napkins with the gesso stamped on it. So I put some here and one right here. Put, cut, did a little fussy cutting on the fabric and put some down. And I liked the threads, the little loose threads that came off. So I just kind of glued that down too. Um, went through put a little crackle paste throughout, um, glued down some papers. I did the deli 
some of the deli stamp paper here. And I put that in here with some other papers. Um, and then I took a little bit of spackling and just kind of put some down around the fabric and stuff just to give a little more texture. Now, what I wanted to show you guys is I'm going to take, okay, let's see. I put black fabric right here and I just glued it down. It's just some black fabric. And I went to my Cricut machine and made a stencil. Here we go. But yeah, I love uh, using my Cricut just to do some um, just some fun stenciling, but you can see here. Just gotta take this off without ripping everything. And it's just a sticky stencil that I can put down. So it's kind of cool. It's like a big roll of it that I got um, a while ago. And let me know in the comments if you guys are interested in this, if you have a Cricut machine. Um, I can put that down there. I've ordered this a long time ago, but I got it off Amazon. So what I want to do is just, I'm going to tape it down where I want it. It's really sticky, as you can see. Okay. So I think that's that's a good spot. And then I could just go along here and um, weed out. I'll try to pop it off without making a big hole in it, but you could just pop this off. Place it right there. There we go. And I could reuse this over and over too, which is nice. And I can also do the opposite effect where I just put down the letters and then just it, have it go around it and keep the black in the middle, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to set this like there. I'm doing it right here. Set it like that. There we go. Okay. So I'm just getting that all stuck down really good. And I'm going to take my spackling and my little trowel and just spackle it all down and see how it turns out. So let's get to it. Okay. So I changed my mind on the spackling because I don't know how it's going to work with this being so flat and then trying to peel it up. So I'm gonna use my stencil brush and some white gesso, and then I'm just gonna dab it all around and then unpeel it. So I'm gonna do that. I did is added some Rit dye. Here I'll show you. Um, Rit dye is just the concentrate and it's for fabrics and you can use it on papers and all kinds of things like that. And it's a liquid form and this one's red. This one's wine but I have the red. It's like a cherry red. So I thought that would look nice and uh, I use this for my tie dye in my uh, rainbow bags that I have in my uh, Etsy shop. And um, yeah, so this is like a cherry red and I took it and just kind of squirted some around and then took a paintbrush and rolled it. Um, I did a stencil, just a fun stencil throughout. 
with the black. So I used some black Mars black. I used gold for splattering and some watered down gesso that I splattered all over. Um, also used my stencil that I did had for my Cricut machine. I cut out on a manila folder and I just did some flowers here and put some white little spots in the middle and then some flowers over here. Um, I think that's about it. And, oh, I went through with my little uh, Skylight Studio, like, uh, pencil, and I just did some X's in there, and uh, then took my paintbrush and just kind of wetted it down and smeared some around just to make some more texture throughout. Oh, yeah, and I did some Distressed Oxide Ink Vintage Photo, and I just uh, took my paintbrush and kind of just put some browns around it and stuff, and... Yeah, so this is almost the end result here. What I'll do is take the tape off around it and then take some black soot and just ink around the edges. And yeah, I think that will be the end of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that part done and I'll come back. the Peace Collage Red series, which I think it turned out really fun. And here, I'll show you guys. I'll get some up-close pictures at the end, too, to show you guys. So you can see all the crackle and the splatters. And all the colors and the layers, which is so much fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informational. And if you could please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and you guys can see my next video when I post it. Like, comment, and share. And let's grow together. And keep on crafting.